All right, we are here with we're here with Mars, Hannah, and Sela from Ravenwood High School. My first question I have for you guys: Why did you guys start the Black Student Alliance? Um, well, we started the Black Student Alliance because I just thought that it was like a really important thing for our school to have, since there isn't that many people of color, and it's just a way for us to all come together. And if they're having racial situations go on, they can always come to us and we'll help them figure out what they should do to fix it. I think it also creates a place where we can have um, good conversation about what goes on in our school and really talk about race in a positive way and uh, be able to celebrate black culture and really um, educate people on what's going on. Yeah, pretty much what they said. It's just a space for us to all come together and share the experience of being black at Ravenwood because like it can be a little stressful sometimes just because of like who our student body is. So we wanted to make a place that like black students could come together and feel welcomed in such a like conservative area and at a kind of conservative school. What is the experience like being a black student uh, in Williamson County today? It's kind of a hot mess. <laughs> Um, it's fine. I think there's like a good enough community, but like also definitely just like the student bodies themselves and like our other students kind of can be a little bit interesting when it comes to like racial situations just because like either they don't know or they don't care. Uh, it just kind of depends like on who you're talking to, but it definitely you've got to explain yourself a lot. You've got to explain why somebody did something that was wrong. You've got to explain to them like why they were wrong, I guess. So it can kind of be a hot mess. But I think it's pretty good. I mean, the schools are really good, so it's nice to be here. But also, like, dealing with the students can kind of be a little interesting sometimes. Mm. So probably, like, a time that, like, really showed that I was in Williamson County and I was like, okay, what is going on, was in eighth grade, some boy called me the N-word, and the school didn't really do anything about it. Mm. And that truly hurt me because I was like, okay, he didn't really get in trouble, and he was still in my class. He still sat next to me. And I had to keep like seeing him every day and that's what about like Williamson County irritates me because they didn't really do anything they didn't give him like education they gave him like a few days in ISS and he sat right back next to me so that's probably something that I feel needs to be changed at Williamson County Schools yeah I think that as a minority it can be extremely difficult because you're not surrounded with people that understand you um, and then People will say things that they don't know is like meant to hurt you and a lot of the times they say things they don't know that how seriously you can take it because it's not like regular hate speech, it's not like regular harassment or somebody saying something. It's, it's something that deeply affects you because it's your heritage and it's mm. who you are and it's your culture and there's nothing you can do to change it, right? So um, yeah, there's, there's definitely been a lot of instances. I've been in Williamson County School since I was in kindergarten um, and I mean like from like the first, second grade. I had like, I was picking up the recycling at school, like uh, in my class, and then um, this one boy came up to me and he was like, yeah, like you take away my trash, you slave. And I was like, I was like so confused and I, I went to my teacher and I told her and she was like, okay, and she talked to him in the hallway she said like, don't say that again. And he sat right back next to me for the rest of the year and I've, I've been in the same class as him now, even like up into sophomore year, so it's like, people don't really know how it affects you and it's like to be affected by that at such a young age like seven eight years old and still have to deal with that in high school and like having people say the n-word having people say things that are extremely ignorant just about like your culture and who you are it's it's so it's so harmful and it's so hurtful and it's things that you will never forget for the rest of your life so it can be extremely traumatizing um but i think that more more and more people need to be aware that um it really is going on and things are really happening that truly, truly do hurt people and leave an impact on their lives forever. So you mentioned like situations, obviously just like really, really hurtful um, situations. What is the feeling? Like what are you left as a human? Just like what is the feeling that comes after these things are said to you? Um, I feel like after, like, someone says something like that, it's like, wait, did they just say that? And then it's like, like, where did you get that motive to say that? And I just feel like that's coming from at home, and it starts at home. So, like, 
what like why are you using those words to say to me and like think that it's okay that's mm -hmm. what truly doesn't resonate with me because it just doesn't make sense how you want to hurt someone but they don't really th they think it's funny a lot of times and it's not funny it like leaves a mark on I think every person of color if you're saying something to someone that's racially motivating and just rude then they're gonna remember what you're saying and it's gonna follow them like with the rest of their life so. it's mm. just like one of the most degrading experiences that you can have as a movie wow. because there's nothing you can do to change that and it's who your parents are to your grandparents are it is like your culture and like I, I it's so hard to explain to somebody that doesn't that you know hasn't really experienced that but um yeah it's black culture and just like being african-american is a big part of who we are it is who we are so mm. it can be so difficult when somebody is saying something to diminish you and just to degrade you as a human being when you are the only difference that you have is the color of your skin and your culture and yeah. that's what makes us beautiful so it can be really hard yeah it's definitely a really hard thing to go through definitely just because like you can't really do anything against them because like oh they think it's funny or oh they think it's a joke and like the school administration at least like treats it like oh this kid thought he was joking or like oh this kid thought he was funny but like if like a black student were to like go and like really like yell at them for it or you know like really tell them they're wrong we're gonna get in trouble so i think that's probably like the most degrading part about it is because like you kind of just have to roll with what people are saying because like god forbid you say something because then they're gonna get offended because they're like oh my gosh intimidating black person and then you know now you're sitting in iss or you're sitting at home suspended so yeah i think the schools need to do better about like how they react to black students reacting to stuff because they really just don't treat it like it's hate speech which it is we obviously had a white supremacist just hate crime in buffalo uh just horrible what are your thoughts what are your feelings about what happened yeah buffalo is probably the largest white terrorist attack since still in Earth, so there's definitely a lot of weight on the black community because of that and honestly i don't think the media is handling it as well as they should because mm. there's all sorts of you know like nobody wants to label him a terrorist nobody wants to label him like a white supremacist nobody really wants to put out there that he has this crazy evil manifesto um, and you know the things that he wrote on his weapon things like that you know so they're not taking it seriously as far as like the weight of the situation goes but yeah right now the black community is definitely a little bit scared to go outside and to you know do things of course we're not gonna let that stop us but it is you know terrifying to see like this just happened and something like this hasn't happened in you know years and i don't know if it's just the way that modern politics is going right now certain past people we've had as political leaders bringing these or giving you know white supremacists and white terrorists the confidence to come out of the woodwork and do this type of stuff but yeah no it's definitely a really heartbreaking and really horrible thing and like all black people in america have been affected by this whether we lived in buffalo or not. how did the um horrible situation in buffalo affect you what are your thoughts um I have to agree with Mars in saying that the way that the media is handling it is kind of ridiculous because, I mean, like, if, even if you look at, like, what happened, like, in 9-11, the way that they describe, they were like, oh, this is the first terrorist attack in America, and we're just like, is nobody remembering the KKK? Is nobody remembering the atrocities that have happened for the last hundreds and hundreds of years to black people who are American citizens? And I think even after everything that's happened in 2020 with George Floyd and the whole Black Lives Matter movement, um, I think that it just really shows us that we still have a lot of work to do. And I think that Americans and everybody needs to be reminded of that because I've also heard a lot of people saying, Williamson County doesn't have racism. Like, things like that don't happen here. But if things like that, any attack on black people anywhere is an attack on black people everywhere. And I think that, um, especially like for us being leaders in a group, that is meant to defend black people and um, like kind of stand up for um, our community here in Brentwood, then we have work to do. And there's definitely um, like there's definitely people that are hurting, and we're here to support and um, kind of see what changes we can make and what we can do about it and bring awareness because it's still an issue, um, as we can see, because people's lives are still being lost it's just based on race. And it's it's honestly ridiculous that it's just been going on this long, but. We have a lot of work to know. I think that everybody, like no matter your race, has a part to play. So. 
Let's talk about the recent protest at Ravenwood. Um, give us like the background and um, what what's the ex what was the experience like and what do we need to know about it? Um, so our friend, someone wrote like a racial slur on his computer and he brought that to my attention and was like, I really want to do something. And then us three, we came together and we were like, okay, what should we do? He told us exactly what he wanted us to do and we helped him and put the whole thing together and we were going to do a protest in the school where it was during our break we would come and like circle all together in the commons just like the big area in our school and we would just link arms and it was just showing them like that we're tired of you guys thinking that it's okay to do this and them not getting any consequences for it like because this happens literally probably every day at our school and there's wow. not really like anything done so we were just tired and then Mars spoke Jaden also spoke and they just showed how much they were just over the situation and people I think people did really listen because it was a big deal we got a lot of like feedback from it and it was great and I definitely think it showed like although administration like supports us and does obviously doesn't want their students to be doing that it kind of showed like you have a group of people that are watching and like we're not just gonna like let all this stuff happen and then you go around thinking there's no consequence because when situations like that happen we want to call people out and say hey like that wasn't okay and it shouldn't happen again whether or not they meant it with you know bad intentions and like really to hurt us it shows like it had an impact on these people and we are noticing like we're watching and like we're gonna do something about it if it ever happens again so